Hello, beloved. <clears throat> I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed down in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, <clears throat> let us tap in and find out why we are spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So the Freudian message that I'm channeling um, are the words thread carefully, okay? I'm channeling Freudianly those words, thread carefully. Um, let's tap into this message and see what this is about. Um, I am also channeling the Freudian um, message of the words thin ice, okay? Thread carefully and thin ice let's tap in let's see what this is about we have the knight of pentacles here we do have taurus virgo capricorn energy we also have the Eight of Cups, we have Scorpio energy here. Okay, so I am seeing that um, there's a specific way in which someone's life is going, right? Um, this is not your life. This is not about um, your reality, your world, or your life, okay? This is someone else. Um, but this person here, this has something to do with you, right? Well, they have something to do with you. This situation has to do with you. With this Knight of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups, like the trajectory and the manner at which someone's life has, has been going, um, things have been different, okay? Things have never been the same, um... Things have changed for this person here. And it's an energy of it's been a long time coming. This is like an expected energy for this person. Um, because of the life that they've led up to this point, right? So the way in which this person has been living, um, the, the decisions and choices they've been making and who they've identified themselves to be, it just, it, it has put them in this position, right? Um, to experience a trajectory, a change, a shift, a switch in their reality, their life and their world. Okay, let's tap in further. We have the Four of Wands. 
So the familiarity of this person's sense of belonging has been stripped from them. The people that they were connected to that made them feel like themselves or closer to themselves, the things that they would do, places they would go, that they identified with themselves, you know, an analogy, a reference point, a case study. We as people have staples, right? Like things about ourselves that we already um, can identify as a part of us and people that we can identify as a part of us as well, right? So coming back to the generalization of this message itself, it's that energy where the things and the people that this person could identify as themselves, they've lost touch of that, all right? This person is like a clear depiction of somebody not being able to recognize who they are anymore, like they've lost their own sense of identity. This is a part of the trajectory, the change, the shift, switch energy that is going on in their life currently, okay? Um, them not being able to recognize who they are, like they can't reflect on their identity and feel connected to it. They don't know who they are anymore. They can't tell who they are anymore. They can't even depict themselves in a, in a manner of, okay, this is who I am, this is what I do, this is what I stand for, you know, um, things of that nature. We have the two of wands. We have Sagittarius energy and Aries energy as well. And we also have Libra energy with the justice. We have justice reversed though. So this is somebody that is definitely undergoing a form of bad karma in their life. Okay. Um, in relation to you though, it's as if the way in which you've crossed paths with this person, the way in which you know this person or can identify them, that God wanted to show God wants you to learn from what's going on with someone here, like the way in which their life is going, God wants you to learn from that. God wants you to um, take lessons from that, okay, from this person's life based on the decisions and choices, the types of decisions and choices that they've made, the kind of um, things they've done, said, and you know who they've chosen to be on earth you know god wants you to learn from from this person's mistakes from this person's demise because this is definitely an energy of somebody who is slowly but surely falling apart okay within themselves and therefore their life seems to be falling apart as well because they themselves are falling apart this is a form of bad karma, okay? Like things have just abruptly changed for this person, but it's only abrupt because they didn't expect things to turn out this way. The Knights of Pentacles is an indication that it's been in transition, like this process of change, trajectory, shift, switch energy for their life has been going on it's just now it has fully hit them but because they never expected things within their reality to turn out this way it is abrupt to them like it's like all of a sudden right to them that's how they think of it and feel about it but in all actual reality the truth of it is that this has always been bound to happen it's like a long time coming okay We have the Eight of Pentacles, Gemini energy, okay? 
we have the knight of cups we have double scorpio energy we have pisces energy we have cancer energy yeah this person here the current circumstance that they're in um they feel like helpless right they feel like nothing can be said or done to get them out of this predicament you know they they really look at this situation as like a form of a loss or disappointment right the state of being that they're in they're just grieving and mourning the life in which they thought they would be living currently or the way in which they thought their life would be currently because things have turned out far more different than they ever envisioned or depicted it in their own way of looking at things right because this was someone who was who had because it's like human nature to have goals that you set for yourself or certain ambitions or passions or desires that you have right um but if it's linked to maybe one let's say an analogy a reference point a case study an example if all of that is linked to um you having to get to where you want to be at the expense of another person right i feel like that's what's happening here coming back to the generalization of this message i see that it, this person in order for them to have achieved the things of life that they wanted to achieve for themselves you would have had to take some form of a fall in your reality or you would have had to be some form of sacrifice or you would have had to you know be the one in this energy where you are grieving and mourning a reality in which you thought you were gonna be living because of this person and this situation at hand with this person it's like this person has it's, it's like shock you know when you it's like life is taking you in a different direction than what you anticipated and let's say you anticipated something for so long they anticipated this ending or this reality that they were going to live in and this person that they were going to be and all these things that were linked to their dark desires or their goals ambitions and passions in this sense right just for it to not happen in just for it to entirely be the opposite like it's shock like this person is going through undergoing a state of shock they can't believe the way life is right now for them like they're looking and you are con a constant reminder of some sort a constant like testimonial of some sort a constant living proof of some sort of what this person tried to do or where they tried to get to in their life and you were meant to like be some form of a, a stepping stone we have the fool i see that this person the 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 measures that they took to attain something here in relation to the reality they so desperately wanted for themselves this person planted a lot of dark bad seeds on earth like due to the the type and kind of decisions that they made right they 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 really didn't think of this falling apart the way it is or towering the way it is right they 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 didn't see this particular reality for themselves they had instilled and embedded so deeply a version of the truth that they wanted to manifest but that truth is just based on like a false reality and a sense of loss of identity at the same time we have double aries energy here 
We have the King of Swords. Okay. We have double Gemini energy. We have Aquarius energy and double Libra energy. We have the Nine of Swords, triple Gemini energy here. The sad truth of all of this is that this person, they don't see a way out of this mess, right? They don't see a way out of this state of being or this trajectory shift change switch of life that they're undergoing they view this whole situation from a standpoint of like there's nothing that i can do like damned if i try something damned if i don't try anything like they just feel like anything that they can try and do or say or however way they can try and act it will furthermore ruin them and create an even faster pace of things falling apart in their life and within themselves so they try they're behind the scenes they're trying to remain as conscious of their life as possible in in form of like accountability like now this person is wanting to take accountability or wanting to stand in the energy of like okay i did this to myself but it's hard being in that state of being when you're continuously faced with bad karma like and it's hitting you in every sense of the word every direction of your life and everyone will never get it like this person they're in this alone even if there are people around them or there's things that they're trying to distract themselves with or they're going certain to certain environments they're all alone in this because it's something they did that put them here there's no one that can vouch and say we were in this together like this person they this was um they were a monk like they were solo they they were alone in all of this Every day that this person tries to get up in the morning and, you know, do what they have to do or they try to, like, you know, start their life and, 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 and tap into their reality and do what they have to do in their world. It's just, it's a battle now. It's, they fighting to stay afloat, fighting to have some form of emotional stability and mental health, fighting to be in some form of spiritual stamina, spiritual strength, like everything that they're doing, it feels like they're fighting, like they're undergoing some form of a battle or warfare alone or with themselves individually. We have the six of wands. Whatever this person has tried to put you through in the past, the time for you to um, succumb to this person's attempts or to take a loss, or the time for you to be the to be the one in this energy that they're in, like that time has passed. You have won this battle that this person try to put you in or these attempts that they try to send your way you know anything that is in relation to the situation you are taking some form of a a, a win you know um things have come full circle okay This person's loss of self, loss of identity and individuality is something crucial because if you lose yourself, you become faceless and all you are is a succubus, right? Or all you become is a succubus, meaning that Um, you become like a, a leech to everything and everyone around you. Um, not having a sense of belonging 
in everyone or anything around you because that loss of self that loss of identity and individuality it's like you it's like picture somebody within themselves constantly losing touch of who they are how is that going to manifest itself within their reality and how are they going to show up in the world if they don't know themselves all that they can do is leech and be a succubus in everything that they can identify with a version of themselves they once knew not the falling apart of that version of themselves it's like this person will be spending time a lot of their time in life like the remainder of this person's life line or lifespan will be spent with them trying to reach on to anything and everything that reminds them of their sense of belonging right their sense of self individuality um and identity they'll be constantly picking up anything everything that reminds them of who they are not saying that is who they are but it reminds them of who they are they're losing themselves but they're going to try and cope with that in a manner of attaching themselves more to the things that remind them of their own self right identity and individuality um it's like being like a a child again right page of pentacles um being a child again and you are just with triple taurus energy we have double virgo energy we have double capricorn energy being a child again that's symbolic to having to learn or being like a baby and having to learn how to walk or how to talk those fundamental things of life that make you who you are you know and if you want to stretch it to furthermore down the line maybe somebody entering their 20s they're discovering their own sense of identity individuality and their own sense of self in a way that they can be comfortable in and they can love that hopefully right who they becoming they can associate who they becoming with the version of themselves that they they truly want to be so basically what this person is undergoing is like backwards like there something has backfired or it's being reversed or it's they made a specific sacrifice however way this goes what's going what comes around goes around what goes around comes around right so this person everything is now going backwards where they're losing touch of who they are instead of gaining more consciousness or knowledge and wisdom of who they are every day they fight into have a sense of i know me this is me i literally um see somebody in the mirror i'm seeing the prophetic vision of somebody standing looking into a mirror and not being able to see anything that they know they're they they looking at a stranger and they're trying to create a relationship with a stranger which is themselves this is a really deep message here whatever this person has done and however way it is um creating or has created a backlash upon their life it's like being cursed like This person has been cursed like it's like the curse of loss of self Imagine having no control over 
who you think you are and what you like and it's Candy this person was is somebody that um played around with the things of life that they knew nothing about in terms of certain um practices of spirituality that are dark or dark ways of spirituality things of life that they dibbled and dabbled in and they're spiraling they're losing it they're losing themselves they're this is the most vulnerable this person has ever been or felt in their whole entire life this is the sort of pain that takes almost life a lifetime your lifetime as a person with whatever lifespan god has granted you some people live longer than others some people die young so you know what i'm saying this is the sort of pain that takes somebody almost their whole life to bounce back from or to heal or to re release and let go of like what this person is going through because we are all we have at the end of the day imagine losing yourself in this world that is already so lost already you know what i'm saying i see that they're trying though like they, this is really like the battle of the mirror where they are fighting who they are they are fighting what they know they are fighting what they like what they think how they feel because they can't resonate with it but it's 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 <sighs> this level of spiritual um backlash that this person is undergoing because this is definitely some form of backlash backfire reverse energy of something that they played with or dibbled and dabbled with or some form of spiritual practice that led them to the rabbit hole the pit of some form of darkness and it just this is the pay day or payback of it where the the bad karma is here mm. and there's nothing they can do about it that's the saddest truth right um they have to pay they have to reap reap what they've sown there's um consequences to everything um but yeah beloved thank you so much for joining me on the prophetic vessel show this was your message from god ra allah source the divine i'm grateful for your time to those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my patreon on my patreon i do offer weekly sign readings for ten dollars per month based on love as well as spiritual path i also offer on my patreon personal readings for fifty dollars per month you get a personal reading from me every month based on love spiritual path career and finances as well as ancestral messages link to my patreon will be found down in my description box below or you can join my patreon by typing what is on the screen via google search it and it'll lead you to my patreon website i thank you all for everything and i will see you all soon goodbye